This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-206, Object Classes Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-206 is currently unable to be secured, an information suppression plan has been put into effect to conceal its existence. Frequencies known to be used by SCP-206 are to be monitored, and all images relayed to Earth via other probes or satellites deleted from non-Foundation assets after they have been retrieved. Technology and astronomy websites, journals, and periodicals are to be monitored for discussion of the rover or the receipt of unusual photographs. See document 206-AA12 for complete list. Persons who become aware of the existence of SCP-206 are to be administered amnestic. Update. November 30th, 2000, redacted. As orbital observation of SCP-206 has proven possible, agents within satellite and aerial imaging organizations are directed to keep watch for instances of SCP-206 and remove the images concerned. Deployment of image corruption cover story suggested. Description. SCP-206 is a Martian exploratory rover, designation Invictus, launched on August 12, 2000 redacted, as part of a joint Russian Space Research Institute and European Space Agency effort. Exact object specifications are listed in document 206-AA1. Despite a successful launch aboard a Soyuz FG rocket, telemetry data was lost on January 16, 2000 redacted, roughly halfway to Mars. Attempts to re-establish communication failed, and on February 10, 2000 redacted, the craft was declared lost. On June 8, 2000 redacted, a day after Invictus was planned to arrive on the Martian surface, a connection was established with ESA flight control on the rover's assigned frequency. Before terminating at the source, 38 photographs were transmitted, appearing to show views of the expected landing zone in the Victoria Crater. Three days later, a further batch of 11 images was received, showing a drastically different location, later determined to be in the Cydonia Mense, roughly 2,500 kilometers due south. The Foundation was informed of the incidents by operatives at the ESA shortly thereafter, and moved to investigate. Containment procedures were instituted on June 21, 2000 redacted, when ESA Control received a batch of five images showing panoramic views of the Martian surface, apparently taken from its satellite Deimos. How the rover, which as designed is rated at maximum speed of 90 meters per hour on flat ground, traveled between these locations is currently unknown. SCP-206 contacts Earth sporadically, utilizing its original channel, data redacted. Once a connection is established, it uploads a number of images in varying formats, Pictures received do not always correspond to the hardware originally installed on Invictus, though the signature and session initiation packets match those programmed. Tracking stations have received a total of redacted images. A large number of these images, roughly 38%, appear to have been taken on Earth or worlds similar to it, differing in some detail. The remaining photographs seem to have been taken on or in the region of various celestial bodies, only a small percentage of which are currently identified. Periods between transmission vary considerably. The shortest registered to date is 26 hours, the longest 511 hours. Despite visual confirmation of the existence of something resembling the rover, see Addendum 2061, no trace of it has been found in the received images, even when the scene includes a reflective surface. Further, a number of photographs show locations exceedingly difficult, if not impossible, for a rover the size and shape of Invictus to access. Addendum 2061. At the time containment procedures were instituted, it was unknown whether the transmissions originated from the probe itself, or if an unknown entity had simply co-opted the frequency and was impersonating the rover. However, on August 13, 2000 redacted, SCP-206 transmitted a photograph of what was identified as a portion of a lunar ranging retro reflector. Nearby orbital assets were retasked to survey the relevant regions, revealing tracks closely resembling those a rover the size and shape of Invictus could be expected to leave. On November 30, 2000 redacted, Japanese lunar orbiter Selene captured the vehicle itself during a camera calibration session over the Copernicus crater. Four hours later, SCP-206 uploaded a new image showing a view of the same region. Since then, SCP-206 has been captured by several satellites in various locales. See sighting log SCP-206. 
Addendum 2062, though SCP-206 generally uses data redacted, on at least five occasions images have been transmitted to or via civilian or military space assets. No connection between the image sets in question has been found. See Incident Log SCP-206 for more details. Archive of images sent by SCP-206. Images are in order that they were received, though exact year has been redacted. June 7th. The image sent appears to document SCP-206 landing on Mars. Image 1 shows a view of the Victoria Crater looking to the northeast from approximately 3 kilometers above the surface. Images 2 through 37 show the same region at continually decreasing altitudes. Image 38 seems to have been taken at ground level, roughly 500 meters southwest of the mission's intended landing point. June 10th, Mars, Cydonia Mense. June 17th, Exo-atmospheric view of Mars, based on the alignment of celestial bodies in the local cluster, the image was taken from Deimos. June 21st, the first single image set, showing the rear of the Spirit rover, which was, at the time, traversing the Gusev crater. No anomalous readings or images were reported from Spirit. July 7th, runes of the Temple of Mars Altor, Rome, Italy. This is the first image sent by SCP-206 that shows a place on Earth. August 13th. Single image showing the top left portion of a lunar ranging retro reflector, later identified as belonging to Apollo 15. Image displays qualities consistent with being taken by a Hasselblad 500EL data camera, a device not fitted to Invictus. August 29th, various views of Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, United States. October 1st, stern portion of sunken ship, letters L, S, T, and N are readable. December 14th, Racetrack Playa, Death Valley, USA. Image shows the trace of one of the sailing stones. Judging by the lower part of the image, as well as the stone's trajectory, the image seems to have been taken from one of the sailing stones. February 7th, 29 boxes with light bulbs. The place was not actually determined. Judging by the doors, it's a subway entrance in one of the northern hemisphere cities. February 11th, a metal construction of a humanoid figure on a horse-like four-legged creature. Both the rider and the horse seem to be composed of multiple small details. April 21st, Tractor, later identified as a universal model, on the porch of the Belgorod Regional Study Museum in Russia. September 11th, 13 images show a funeral mass in a church, later determined to be St. Jerome, Nordwick, Netherlands. The rest depict a burial of a man in the aforementioned church graveyard. The man was later determined to be Redacted, Chief Structural Engineer of the Invictus Mars Rover Project. September 12th, Gravestone of Redacted. The images smudged. Some dark liquid stains were present on the camera lens at the moment of filming. Later investigation found SAP-206 tracks near the grave and two Redacted of Unknown Breed. February 24th, Mount Rushmore with the face of Jefferson Davis instead of Abraham Lincoln, one of the first photographs to depict an Earth different from the original. July 3rd, Moscow Kremlin. The image appears to be taken from the Greater Stone Bridge. The walls and towers are white, although judging by the vegetation and people caught on film, the time the image was taken is consistent with the time it was received. August 1st, a small football field, exact location unknown. It should be noted that all people and some objects depicted are lacking shadows. September 15th, Taj Mahal, Agra, India. Judging by the perspective, the image was taken from the main spire. The structure doesn't look any different from the one we know, but the domes are adorned with gilded symbols that don't belong to any known alphabet. November 30th, the moon, Copernicus Crater. Japanese space probe Kaguya has caught SCP-206 on camera here approximately at the same time. January 1st, data expunged. January 11th, primary coolant circuit of a nuclear reactor from the inside. March 9th, data expunged. March 13th, Temple of Khafre. Giza, Egypt. Judging by the perspective, the image was taken from the Great Sphinx's nasal bridge. June 7th, two broken TV sets with a house cat, Felis Sylvestris Catus, sitting on one of them looking sideways. July 24th, a deceased man lying in what looks like a coffin. The man was presumed to be, redacted, a known actor, but at the moment the image was taken, he was alive. July 29th, a scattering flock of doves. The place was later recognized to be the Cathedral Square, Belgorod, Russia. August 16th, a lot of dead fish in an unknown place. 
October 31st. A view of a tank driver's seat. The interior looks like a mouse super heavy tank, but a lot more modern. December 19th. Data expunge. March 26th. An architectural ensemble that looks like Forum of Augustus, Rome, Italy, but in pristine condition. One of the photographs depicts an electronic display installed next to the building, presumed to be the Mars Altor Temple. The image shows some text in an unknown dialect of Chinese scrolling on the display. Partial translation reads, Hail, Mars the Savior, great helmsman who led, unknown, and raised the celestial empire, unknown, a hundred flowers, unknown, may your spears strike, un, shields to cover us. April 2nd, interior of the Kostnized Church, Kutna Hora, Czech Republic. The interior looks like the actual church, but some of the skulls can be seen having three eye sockets. April 4th, a view of Lopan River from the window of Kharkov National University building. Judging by the perspective, the building is at least 10 stories taller than the actual one, although the background corresponds to the date the picture was taken.